What's going on, folks? Ned from Ned's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. I want to talk about some of my favorite things that I have found Doom running on, starting off with the pregnancy tester. I already made a video about this. This is an ind individual named Foon or Phone. I always get it wrong. It's one or the other. Anyways, this guy, basically, he, he didn't, he did, it wasn't as awesome as he made it out to be. It was still very awesome, but ultimately, he had to pull the screen out of the unit and replace it with another screen. I don't want to ruin your illusion of it. it it's an awesome feat. He just, he, he replaced it, but still, the idea and, oh, I mean, to some women, the idea of having a baby is not particularly interesting, and the hell that comes after it, man. Yeah, yeah. It's easy to say that having a kid isn't doom and isn't hell after the kid's like four years old and he's not screaming all the time. Now check this out. Buddy managed to get doom running on a weight scale. What frickin' weight scale needs... Oh, wait, you know what? Yeah, I could see that. Probably, I wouldn't doubt if they'd have windows on it just for yeah it's a windows they'd have windows on it just so you could interface with it at a network level i had to use i had to use was it rice lake or metler toledo i had to use one of them it, they just didn't interface with the network as well as they should so just freaking put windows on it then you don't have to worry about the scale now this right here is really something this is doom directly on reddit Frickin' blows me away. I'm playing Doom directly on Reddit. Um, pff, I just, wow. Wow. I mean, if I knew this was here, then I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't have... Oh, oh, tried to purchase it on Steam. <laughs> Holy fur, this guy made his own operating system. And he got Doom... War how does that happen? You see, the thing is, the creators of Doom released the source code. And because of that, and because it's so iconic, everyone wants to get it running on everything. Man, if we had the base components for source code, we could do so much more. Doom on a picture frame, a digital picture frame. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the Russians are wrestling. Doom on a Pioneer speaker system. Doom playing as a PDF file. Doom pages develop. What? All right. Yeah, Doom, Duke Nukem, and Quake to play off an old iPod. Yeah, Link, V-O-I-P phone. <laughs> Zebra. Price checking kiosk. Doom running on another point of sale terminal. It's really interesting when you get video games in video games. Video game inception. Price scanners. Fancy car radios. <laughs> CNC machining. <laughs> Okay, legit, the robot arm is the last damn thing that I would want to try to install Doom on. You know how friggin' deadly those things are? You can't even predict them really accurately with, uh, unless you, you really check up on the hydraulics. Sorry, I'm sure the newer ones are much easier. Doom on a 3D printer. He's playing it on a Lego Mindstorm machine. He's playing it on Lego. Fergin' Lego, my guys. Not even the GPSs are safe from the foul hands of the Doom Guy. Got Doom Guy on some military biometrics? Huh. Huh. That looks like it'd be a lot of fun. <gasps> the Kodak picture kiosk? Yeah! I didn't even know Lenovo made smart clocks. Why do we need smart clocks? It's interesting that grandfather clocks were such a big deal a generation or two ago, and now people consider them more or less just wood piles. I tell you what, if there is a machine spirit in every, anything, yeah, it would wooden grandfather clocks. Oh my god, guys, check this out. Check this out. Ex Express Airway. Ex Oh, dude. And a kid? 
Oh, dude, this is so darling. This is perfect. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Somebody probably found that unit being tossed. Found a dumpster. Oh, I bet it's a 486. Maybe like a 586. Because it's got that rollerball. It's been a long damn time since I've seen one of those. Man, if that rollerball stopped working, that would be tricky to use. <laughs> but still... I love it. This is my favorite. Doom rocking out on an LG washing machine, my guys. Doom running on Amazon Web Services. Whoa, CRT doorbells. Commodore 64 or via the RAD expansion unit. Holy Ferg. A palm top PC. So is this technically a 286, I wonder? Most kids aren't even going to know what a palm top is. Doom on a Porsche 911 996. Oh, we need to see this one just, just because it's in a really nice case. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Waterloo. Couldn't escape if I wanted to. Now, there's something about this system. It's unbelievably expensive. There's something special about it. But I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be able to play Doom anyways. But still. But he's got Doom working on a drone radio. Doom running on a Popeye's machine. Old school price scanner huh huh <laughs> spectrum analyzer freaking digital camera LG LG ultra LG ultra sound machine another calculator this seems to be the hardest thing to get it running on a calculator No, on the Game & Watch? Alright, that's it for me. That's it for me. Anyways, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.